The original speed was only about 20 mega megabits per second, and it's actually about 80 now, so that's almost four times the amount. Hey guys, and welcome back to Ultra Game World. And today, we are looking at Wi-Fi mesh systems within the home. So, as we know, Wi-Fi is, is an issue with uh, most people's network at home. A lot of the time, speeds are very low from the internet compared to when you connect in with your Ethernet port or your network cable. This is the Tender MW5 or the MW5S system. This is AC1200. So basically it's good for 100 meg megabits per second plus uh, speeds for your internet speeds. It looks to be like a really good system. It's basically got the three nodes, as you can see. Paid £75 for this, which hopefully, you know, I think that is quite a good price. The three nodes basically have a primary node and then you can put two more where, wherever you want. The coverage looks quite good. I think the coverage was stated at around 300 meters squared so that's probably like um sort of like a middle size house or sort of like a medium size house i'd say probably if you've got like a very large house you might potentially want to go for like a five or maybe even a six unit version but again that will cost you quite considerably more but you would get better coverage if you have multiple floors obviously for the house that we have here at my parents house this is perfectly fine three is going to be perfect I'm gonna put one in the main living room, which is gonna be the primary one. I'm gonna have one here in the studio, and we will have one in sort of like the bedroom area and what have you. And yeah, um, I, I, I think this is gonna be a good system. Basically, I've done free grass where I've taken, before I've actually just shot this video, I've just taken free grass, which one which I've directly connected a laptop into the router, into the actual wireless router, with an ethernet cable um, and then with that that was like really fast I mean I think I got like 500 megabits per second or something ridiculous I'll put it on the screen um, then I connected to the Wi-Fi within the same room which is the living room uh, that was actually quite a considerable drop but we still had about 75 megabits per second which actually was pretty impressive uh, I thought that was okay but the problem is with most traditional Wi-Fi systems as we will see in this little graph here, I only got about 25 megabits per second within this studio. So once you go away from the main router, and the main router is probably about ooh, 10 meters or so away from the studio here, maybe 20 if you're, no, it's probably not, it's probably like 15, 20 maybe at most, but it's not that far away. And once you start going away from the router, the main wireless router, you'll start to see a very, bad degradation on the network and on your, on your actual internet speeds. So this is where the mesh system comes in handy because in theory we can put the three nodes evenly w within our house, evenly spaced out and in theory we should have a constant speed within the internet. Before we go into the unboxing I'll just quickly show you around the, uh, the uh, packaging here. Quite fairly plainish but as you'd expect it's a, it's a budget unit. Um, just a little bit of sort of like mar marketing on the front, it's like 300 meters squared, it covers. As you can see from the diagram there, it's, it's basically got three nodes as you sort of separate them into different rooms. So that's quite nice. And just a little overview, there are other products which they actually sell, which are like the mesh uh, systems which they sell. I mean, Tender generally is quite a decent make. Um, I've used I actually had a wireless router from them previously and I actually felt that was quite a good wireless router and they're not like, you know, maybe like quite as established as like TP-Link or maybe like Netgear sort of systems are, but they are pretty good and yeah, let's, uh, let's just see what, let's see what this can do really, let's see what it's like, let's, let's unbox this. So, in the box here, as you can see, first of all, nice user manual, which is good. It says here, tips, please start from the leftmost node, primary node, 
use the included 12 volt A1 power adapter to power it on. So we start from this node here, I'll just um, pull that down a little bit. So we start from the leftmost and then the other two which will connect later. So, and it does actually say primary node on it, which is, which is really nice. Um, let's just open this primary node as we have it right here. So essentially the primary node is where you connect it onto your modem. Um, you can actually connect this from your wireless router to this actual mess system. However, I probably wouldn't recommend that. Um, I mean, you, you, you can do it, but it, it will actually connect from the router directly to the WAN port here. So that's what we want to use. Uh, we want to connect from the modem to the WAN port, which it says it's got two ports, uh, two LAN ports, or one can be used as WAN as well. A little reset button there, which is obviously like uh, one of those pin ones that you have to get a pin down and reset. And your uh, power connector, which the power adapters are actually in the box as well. And I'll just get one of those. Just the, uh, I'm using obviously, I'm um, in the UK, so we obviously use the standard free plug pin. A uh, free pin plug, sorry. And uh, just connects in, just like a sort of standard connector really. As we can see at the bottom, uh, you can actually just use that SSID if you want to. Um, so if you were literally just using it like a bridge, like um, to connect from your wireless router directly to this, then you could just connect up to that and then it'd work like plug and play basically. But I am gonna try and set it up with our internet from the modem itself and that might improve speeds as well. But I mean, it, it isn't essential. I, could, I might even just try both, but yeah. Um, I, I think they are a nice little system. It's it's quite discreet as well. You know, it's quite a small little system. Like, um, I mean, just my hand for sort of representation. I mean, that's pretty small, really. You know, it's. I think the actual size is probably like about ten centimeters by ten centimeters by ten centimeters. Obviously, a little cube. Um, overall, I think they're a nice little package. What I'm going to do now is going to set these up. And then I'm gonna report back once we've done that. So here we are back. Um, yeah, this unit was really easy to install. I really, you know, I, I thought that was a good install. It was pretty quick. Um, in the end, what we had to do is we had to actually bridge it from our router. Our, uh, basically, we turned off the wireless on the wireless router, and then we essentially connected an Ethernet cable from the uh, router to this mesh system, basically the primary node of the mesh system. So, you know, the first node. And then it all just connected up automatically, basically, and had our internet. Go through the numbers now, and let's sort of see, have we improved in terms of our overall speeds that we're getting on the internet, or has it sort of stayed the, stayed the same and not really had much of an improvement? Let's just have a quick look now. Basically, the uh, home original uh, connection let's call it let's call it the original connection for now um that was about 500 megabits per second um and that's directly connecting into the ethernet port um, of the modem basically to the router and then with this one uh with, with the mesh connected in from the router uh by ethernet it was 420 megabits per second about um for some reason it kind of dropped a little bit but I wasn't, wasn't really concerned about that there's obviously two really fast speeds anyway so really it was the Wi-Fi that was my obviously concern so um, really those numbers are the big one so the home Wi-Fi within the living room the original network shall we say that was only 75 as we uh, showed you before now it's about 160 so over double the speed which I was actually really impressed with like my little studio basically is, is the one which I was kind of mostly impressed and the one I mostly wanted to get up because um, the original speed is only about 20 mega megabits per second um, which is actually I mean obviously 
that's still not a bad internet speed in terms of where we've come from obviously but uh, we've actually boosted that quite substantially and it's actually about 80 now so that's almost four times the amount so 80 megabits per second and I was really impressed with that it's worked really well uh, for the 75 pound investment I'm happy um, it's at least doubled or even sometimes trebled or even sometimes in certain areas has actually quadrupled my internet speed which was the objective <laughs> so I was really happy with that overall I think for 75 pounds yeah why not this is a this is a decent little system and I'm actually fairly impressed for the money and um, especially if you're actually paying um, a fair amount for your internet I don't know how much obviously you might be paying but um, it, it's still a substantial cost every month and if you're not getting the most out of your internet speeds and your Wi-Fi speeds then you're kind of you know costing yourself money in the long run so I actually think a, a good investment in a, in a mesh network over time you're going to get that money back in theory because of your increase increased speeds overall yeah if you're in the uh, market for a mesh system I would highly recommend this so thanks guys for watching my video please like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one bye guys